So here we go. We're going to go straight into game one here on Battlefield. And Armada having the ground here. Already has a turnip in hand. Smart decision. He's definitely going to need that in the matchup. And he's already opening up with a dot eyes, which yielded him 18%. That's big. <laughs> it's Armada, dude. Like he said in the past, I plant them. <laughs> This man Armada, dude. Two dot eye hits, and he's at, already put the Marth at 36. Actually, wow, so you, if you notice, Armada was actually just trying to keep center, but Reaper now is fighting for that control. Mm -hmm. He's he's respecting Armada, though, using the side platforms to try to, you know, use a safe approach. He doesn't really want to deal with uh, the turnips, so he's probably trying to send the platforms to avoid the turnip toss. <gasps> he gets the hit on Armada. Wait. Good DI by Armada. All right. And the Ops attack, too. <clears throat> Alright, so um, good job so far. Amada still keeping the stage. Gets the grab. And Reaper now. Let's see. Double jump gone, but ma manages to get back on stage. And the forward smash. Didn't see that one coming. Probably Armada didn't either. Getting hit. Nice! That was good recovery, nice. but... Gets the dare to neutral the, it. Yeah, the classic edge guard by... <laughs> Uh, by Armada right there. Uh, I'm surprised to see, like, I know Armada, he doesn't want to throw turnips off stage because I've been playing a lot against him, and there is a way for Marth to get back on stage if Armada throws a turnip. Oh, yeah, feel free to explain to the to the viewers so, at home. Uh, if Armada gets a Marth off stage, or, you know, any character, he tends to throw out the turnip, and thanks to shoutouts to Android and Kizukun, mm -hmm. the Brazilian old school Marth who's coming to Apex, I heard. Yes. Uh, Thanks to seeing them, I figured out a way how to get back on stage if the Peach throws out a turnip. Uh, no. Well, back to the match. Uh, <laughs> Reaper right. dealing pretty alright pressure, keeping Armada off stage, but that doesn't mean it's any, any easier to keep Armada off stage once he gets back on. Uh, in this situation, what I feel like Reaper should do is like he, he should keep Armada at the range. He doesn't want to get too close. Because remember, your grab range reaches as far as your blade, the falchion. So, I mean, you don't need to keep Armada too close. And doing side beasts, I've learned the hard way, is so dangerous. Especially oh, yeah. against Armada. <laughs> Dude, Armada, if you notice, he's always has a turnip in hand. Wow, that, that was insane. Was yeah, that low to high? Yeah. Mix ups? Okay, alright, alright. I see you, Reaper. Nice stuff there. Really patient style of play. Oh, wow. Okay. I disagree with that down smash, but I guess Amada didn't get out to float, I guess, in that situation. That might have been a whiff. Oh, oh nice. wait a second. Hold the phone. This man is actually trying to keep Armada in the air. Good landing by Armada with the back air to get Reaper off. Gets the neutral, but the DI is on Good there. Good DI, yes. yes. Definitely. And yeah, that, that you, what you saw right there, mm -hmm. that's the anti gin recovery Armada does. Throws it upwards so you can't... You can't get hit by it and get back on stage. Yeah. Armada knows. But yeah, basically, um, while Armada's recovering, that technology is like you fare the turnip, right? You yeah. fare the turnip, then you double jump into it. Or just up B and up. save your jump. Yeah. You can also do that. But that's a lot harder. That's sick. Nice grab. Okay, let's see the chase. Yeah, that nice. That would be more patient, but that was a good idea. Definitely. Yeah. Wow, nice. the reverse up tilt. Okay, Reaper. <gasps> he was so close to possibly SDing there. Yeah. That was risky. Okay. Armada still just keeping Reaper on the sides. Reaper going to the platforms? Yep, goes to the platforms, but that's a grab. Ooh, good recovery by Armada to avoid the hitbox of the dare. He went all the way around just to avoid it. Nice recovery. This is going to be tough, though. Yep. Crouch, yeah. Crouch canceling that first hit of the neutral also helped him. Oh, good DI. So he DI'd into the turnip, so he got back on stage. Literally, that's the only way to get back in if he, uh, if uh, the Peach throws the turnip upwards. You have to, if, if the Peach throws a downer right after, mm -hmm. that's the only way to get back on stage. There's yeah. no other way. Oh, nice. oh my. Oh my god. Oh, oh, he just saved Armada. Yeah, he didn't want to, but he had to come back or he was going to lose that stock. Tipper? Oh, he gets the grab, but. Those pummels, Armada's not going to match like that. He'll wait. He'll DI out. Yeah, he's a smart player like that for playing this game so long. That, I agree. The down smash is definitely an underrated move from Marv's side. The taper back and forward hit are almost as strong as Fox's power up smash. Mm. That's so strong, and it's so fast, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Good job. Good coverage by Armada. Man, you know, 
even though like Armada was like the favorite to win and did win the match, mm -hmm. that was amazing. Look at that. Yeah, that S up tilt. See guys, um, see what happened right there? Actually, when Marth goes for his reverse up tilt, he does move his hurt box away, if you notice. Mm -hmm. That yeah. was one thing I noticed Ken used to do back in the day. He would fare into his opponent and like space it a certain way so that if he goes for a reverse up tilt, he would m they would miss the shield grab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. Oh. Wow! Oh, I didn't, Beast I haven't seen 5! Oh my god, this Shout is amazing. Shout out to, uh, I think, Honor Tim. It's his Wii, and he modded this ver uh, melee beautiful. version. Aww. Pal, too, as well. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous stage right there. Shout outs to him. My goodness, man. Um, I agree with this stage, uh, stage choice, I'm sorry, <laughs> in one sense, because Marth can kill Peach upwards, if anything. Ooh! Good double. Oh! oh misses the float. Okay. But good DI from Reaper getting away from that Nair offstage. Nice up air, and he gets Armada off the top. Really good stuff, man. He That was a beautiful first stock by Reaper, man. He's, Definitely. Yeah, he's playing better here on this stage. He's a very calm and collected, but kind of, you know, like I'm don't really I'm not really sure where I have his, you know, what what's his goal in his playstyle yet, but he's, he's he's pretty calm and collected so far. Yeah, from what I see, knowing that Armada is always going to play with a turnip in hand, he's just trying to respect the turnips. You know, look for his opportunity to get in there and, um, you know, get through the whatever turnip walls that Armada has and then finally apply pressure when he gets that opening. You know, catch Armada when he doesn't have a turnip. Man, this is tough. He's respecting Armada. He knows he doesn't want to take trades too. Peach wants to trade with you, you know. If you're in the air with Marth, you'll get dash attack, neutral aired. Everything. It's, yeah. Everything works. It's scary. Okay, he's underground, but Armada noticing Pressure. this. Yeah, pressuring him. But flow cancels. Also, if the audience, if you haven't seen much of Smash, uh, when Peach lands with an aerial after floating, yeah. doing the attack during the float, when she lands, she has no lag. Yeah. Armada even wrote a guide to this matchup too and like the main thing you oh that was so smart so reaper right there was actually blocking noticing that saturn was in hand jumps out to avoid that he because he that could have done a lot of shield damage yeah saturn works <gasps> oh, oh, oh and the roll yeah. too see he's Re reaper's on point man it's a really good player nice yeah keeping him up in the air nice double jab Let's see now reaper needs to play yeah the I've done that a billion times. Side B and Armada just dash attacks me. <laughs> it's it's you gotta be so careful when you're a bit too close within, you know, the dash attack range. Exactly. So the dash attack range is kinda like, you know, Marv's range in general. So you gotta be respectful to that distance as well. Even though Peach doesn't have generally not long range on her moves. Yeah. Ooh, nice spacing. That was a good dash. Oh he's nice trying pressure. his Yep. Every time you're gonna block all that pressure from Peach, man, sooner or later. <gasps> oh, I thought I was gonna see the Freddie Mercury, as <laughs> some would call it. <laughs> I would have loved to see that. That would have been amazing. Thundercats. Yes, the Thundercats, right? <laughs> That's what we call it in US. Denmark, Freddie Mercury. Oh, nice DI. Really, really wow. nice DI that down there. Very nice. impressive. Can you get this kill? Oh, nice. Gets the grab. I'm out of DIs, though. Good spacing. You can see Reaper's respecting Armada, but Armada, man, you give him an inch, he'll take that mile. Good job. Good job. That makes Armada first seed of pool number one. All right. Congratulations. And man. Reaper has to fight a few more players before we actually get uh, second seed. So good luck to him in uh, the next pool match. All right. So I see Dev and Tomber getting on stage right now. Dev being one of our finest Fox players throughout the years. He's been... He's played melee longer than me. <laughs> I've played for a good eight, nine years, and he's been around for way longer than me. So he's he's one of the old, old, old school players. Oh, wow! Did you guys just notice that? That was amazing. That DI was that so he good. He died in, and 